Hello, my name is Max. This is No Code Nerd, and today we're talking about Awesome Table. So, Awesome Table, very interesting. Very, very interesting use cases. Um, basically, if you've ever needed like a listing website, right? Uh, a list of awesome things um, embedded in a website really smoothly. Uh, it's uh, from spreadsheet data, of course, um, which is obviously the, the use case here. Uh, awesome table makes that really easy. I really haven't seen too many things. There are things like spread simple and there are other tools that I've talked about that do this automatically. But if you have a different website, like you have your own website, it's all built out. It's, it's your own thing. And you want to then connect a spreadsheet to it. You're kind of screwed, but awesome table makes that super easy. So if you've already got an existing awesome property on the web and you need your CMS or your, your a list on your website, you need a, a little database on your website um, from a back end, maybe a Google Sheet or something like that, Awesome Table has you covered. Right? You don't have to go and rebuild anything crazy or, or completely revamp everything. Awesome Table just works. Um, and the, over the pricing, the only reason that I don't like it and don't use it a ton is because the, the pricing is a bit expensive. I think it's $39 per month if you're billed monthly. But they do have a free plan, up to 500 views for every single app. Um, and that is usually more than enough to start testing something and experimenting. So go check it out. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next episode.